Hello everyone, my name is Levi and I'm an instructor with OMSI at the Coastal Discovery Center here at uh, Newport. We're standing right now by the South Jetty, the historic South Jetty built in 1896. And today I'd like to talk to you guys about some tide pool critters and things going on in their environment. So right now we're in the intertidal zone, which means that this area sometimes is completely covered by water, while at other times is exposed to air and sun. This causes a lot of environmental stressors on the creatures here, other stressors that other animals do not have to face. Um, they've adapted in certain ways to deal with this, and if we get a chance, I'd like to show that to you now. We're currently looking at giant green anemones. One environmental stressor that these face is called desiccation, which is drying out. Right now, you're looking at one that's underwater. And in a moment, I'll show you one that's out of water. It kind of controls itself to um, preserve water. And then when it's underwater, it opens up a bit. Another type of anemone is an aggregating anemone. These right now are do some, doing something interesting where they're using seashells to camouflage themselves because another environmental stressor when you're exposed to air and the sun is you have new predators. So predation is something they're trying to defend against. Another environmental stressor that a lot of these creatures have to face is wave action, which is when waves come in and waves go out. Now an ingenious way that the ochre star has adapted to this is they have tubular feet, which act as suction cups to rock faces and other objects so that they can stay grounded and safe. Okay, so as you've seen, a tide pool is seawater that's next to a rocky surface of some kind. Um, I want you to think about if you lived here, what sort of things would you need or use in order to survive this environment, just as these creatures have? Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.